of emergency braking determines the distance between you and the vehicle in front, using information gathered by the camera on the windscreen and the radar in the front bumper. Depending on your model, the active emergency braking system also detects cyclists and pedestrians in front of you. When the system detects a risk of collision with the road user ahead of you, a brake message appears in red on the instrument panel, accompanied by an audible signal. You must avoid the road user or apply the brakes. If you brake and the system detects that the risk of collision is still present, the braking force will be increased by the system. If you do not brake or do not take evasive action despite the audible and visible warning, active emergency braking is triggered and the vehicle brakes, coming to a complete halt if necessary. If the danger is imminent, the audible warning and emergency braking may occur simultaneously. In the case of a complete halt, the system ceases to apply the brakes. If necessary, you must press the brake pedal to keep the vehicle stationary. Note that active emergency braking system detects moving vehicles when you are driving at between 4 and 105 miles per hour, 7 and 170 km per hour. Meanwhile, stationary vehicles, pedestrian and cyclists are detected when you are driving at between 4 and 49 miles per hour, 7 and 80 km per hour. To ensure your safety, the active emergency braking system is automatically activated every time the vehicle is started. Should you wish to deactivate the system, however, go to the Easy Link screen. Select Settings. Vehicle. Driving Assistance. Active Braking. And lastly Toggle to Off. This indicator light then comes on. Note that the system will be reactivated automatically the next time the vehicle is started. You can also carry out this operation from your steering wheel. With the vehicle stationary, press this button as many times as necessary to access the vehicle menu. Now press this control repeatedly at the top or bottom to navigate to the settings menu. Press OK to confirm. Do the same to get to the driving assistance menu, then confirm. Then the same again to get to active braking, then confirm again. Press OK one more time to activate or deactivate the feature. This indicator lights up on the instrument panel when the system is deactivated. For correct operation of the active emergency braking system, be sure to maintain and keep the radar and the camera clean. In certain conditions, for example in the case of heavy rain or poor visibility, the active emergency braking system may be temporarily impaired. In this case, this icon appears in the instrument panel. If it is accompanied by this indicator light, active emergency braking has detected a fault. Contact a Renault representative to resolve the problem. Note that active emergency braking does not replace your vigilance as a driver. Always pay attention to the traffic conditions and to your surroundings.